Just got back from the doctors. Had a bone marrow test. I'm sore. I'm really sore. What happened like right down here? Oh After months of not knowing what was going on with my body, today we finally got a diagnosis. We have acute lymphoblastic limp, lymphoblastic, I can't say it, um, leukemia. Do you know what acute lymphoblastic leukemia is? No, I just know it's not good. <laughs> From day one, I knew that I was gonna lose my hair. But this morning, it became a reality. <sighs> Sweet. <laughs> I love you. When I was diagnosed with leukemia back in August, I was made aware that. Um, this type of cancer goes into the spinal cord and it also goes to the brain. Because of that, we started doing lumbar punctures. They go into your back, they extract the spinal cord fluid, they send it off for testing, and they put the chemo in. We found out right away that I had cancerous or irregular cells in my spinal cord. And then we did another testing recently and they were still there. That was another blow. Yesterday, we went, had the follow-up, and found out that they're no longer there. Hello? Hey, what's up? Hey, nothing. Just get work. How was your appointment? Did you already go? Um, yeah. Are you sitting down? Yeah. I'm in remission. Are you really? I am. Oh, yay! That's so exciting! Cancer does this really extraordinary thing. It breaks you down, mentally, physically, spiritually. It just, it breaks you down. And then it builds you back up. It makes you really, you know, really take a step back. Really reevaluate everything that is in your life. This experience has also brought me closer to God. In a few short hours, I will be admitted into the hospital where we will begin the bone marrow transplant process. Cut me open. What? <laughs> Finished my first round of radiation today. I'm not the energy level that was there a few days ago. It's not there right now. Um, <laughs> I'm, yeah. So this happened in about five minutes. I don't know why. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, baby. So I did something that maybe I shouldn't have done by filming and documenting this process. I could just go back and, and hug him. Oh, wait. 